Hello and welcome back to another calculator game showcase. Today I'm going to be going over the game Snake. This is a very popular game to program when you're first learning coding. And today I'm going to show you how I did it on the TI-84 Plus calculator. Let's get started. The mechanics of this game are very simple. When you first load in, you find that you are controlling this constantly moving snake. You can move in all four directions and you can always change directions, but you cannot go backwards. And the goal is to eat as many of these apples as possible. They look like an X on the calculator version. But you see, every time I eat an apple, the score goes up one, but then the snake also gets three squares longer. Now the challenge is that as you eat more of these apples, the game board fills up even more, and you can either hit the wall or hit yourself, and then the game ends. It's very fun to challenge yourself, see how many apples you can eat. But these are really all the game rules. The only thing that I've added is the pause button and the end game button. And I've also capped out the number of apples that you can eat at 100 because I thought that'd be a good place to end the game. So these are all the rules. Let's go into how the code works. So here is the code in TI Basic for the game Snake. As usual, there will be a link in the description that takes you to my website where you can copy this code for yourself. Since I know that most of you are not watching this portion of the video, I'm gonna go through this part very briefly. The way that this game works is that all the data is saved on the graphing screen. So all these pixels are turned on and off and then they stay that way. And then the head and the tail and the apple are all variables where the location is known. And every time there's movement, it looks at this space and then looks at this graphing screen to see if the pixels are on and off so that it knows if it's gonna hit the apple or hit the wall or hit itself or how the tail is gonna move. But all the data is saved on the graphing screen. So the way that this game works is first it clears the graphing screen and then it draws the game board and sets the initial variables like the location of the head, X and Y, the location of the tail, M and N, and then it also chooses a place for the apple, which is where A and B is. Lastly, this repeat loop starts the game, and C and D are vectors that tell the head which direction it's going to go. So first things first, it assumes that a uh, direction with the arrow keys has already been given, and so it checks all those directions and says, if it's moving in this direction, add the vector to C or D. And so if the next head location is where the apple is, it's going to eat the apple, update the score, and put, find a new place for the apple. After that, it's gonna draw the head in the new spot and it's gonna use the direction to, to delete the space next to the uh, head. So the way that uh, gra graphing points on the TI-84 Plus works is that there are three types of points that you can draw. The single dot, the square, and the cross. So you can turn these pixels on and then you can turn these pixels off. So way, the way that it draws the head is it's gonna draw a square in front of it and then delete these two points so that it's connected to the rest of the snake. And that's similar with how the tail works, which is next. So the first thing it does is it sees how many turns it's gonna wait before it erases the tail. If you've eaten an apple, it's gonna wait three turns before it erases the tail again. That's how it lengthens the snake. But it's gonna look at the location which it knows, which are the variables M and N for the tail, and it's going to look at the four pixels top, left, down, and right of that location, and it's going to see that this pixel is missing. So that means that the new location of the tail is going to be moved right one, and it's going to erase this, uh, this square and then draw it again. And it will do this every turn unless an apple has been eaten, but this creates movement in the snake, so the tail gets shorter every turn. So it, it doesn't need to remember a long list of every location of the snake and where it's going to go. It can just use this one location and then look at where a pixel is missing, and then it can just follow this line. So really, the head has its own mind and the tail has its own mind, and then all the data is just saved on the graphing screen. So after it erases the tail, it then gets the key inputs, which are top, left, down, right, and then also buttons for the pause and stop. If you press the stop button or you hit a wall, it goes to this label. It either says you win if you've eaten 100 apples or you lose if you had not eaten 100 apples. So that's how the game works. I hope this video is helpful if you want to start coding on the TI-84 Plus yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.